is the middle of August. It was my birthday yesterday and as you can see I have a new background. I have a new room and I'm still figuring out a few things. I still need a shelf. I have a desk. I'm so happy about that. I have a teeny tiny desk. I still need a chair for that. I'm sitting on the footstool at the moment but I cannot probably reach my desk to work on it so this is something I still need. August is halfway over and whenever I'm Whenever my birthday's over, I feel totally ready for autumn. We had a major heat wave, heat wave in the UK, and now it's cloudy and a tiny little bit drizzling, but it's still quite warm, and I don't like it like that. So I hope autumn comes soon. I also, I also didn't read a lot, a lot in August because of doing the rooms and all of that so I finally read the fourth volume of Heartstopper and as you've probably already seen in the clips I went to Waterstones Piccadilly um, to see Charlie's bedroom and I loved it so much I finally watched the Netflix adaptation and loved it and I want to re-watch it soon and I also finally read Evelyn, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo and I really enjoyed that one quite a lot. I really wanted to read this this August or this summer because Taylor Jenkins' read new book comes out on the 30th of August and I'm super excited for that one. I have to or I had to get rid of quite a lot of books because I downsized and I cannot store them all so I'm a lot more conscious now once again about which books I'm going to buy um, there was one book coming out this month this that I really really wanted and that was Travis Alabance's None of the Above which is about reflections on life beyond the binary which I've already read and I absolutely loved that one. I think that's a really, really important book. And then for my birthday, I got the transgender issue, which I've also started reading, but I'm only on page 14, so I haven't read a lot yet. But I'm super excited to read this one as well, because those two books go very, very well together. And for my birthday, I also got, I got two books for my birthday, so The Transgender Issue and The Mind of a Bee, because I absolutely love bees and I was so excited for this new release to learn a lot more about bees. And today I went to town to get a coffee that is nearly already gone. And I didn't really want to buy any books, but then I did because I treated myself for my birthday. And this is a new bag, by the way, which I also got fairly recently. And it quite perfectly holds two books that I got today. So today I got Heat Wife by Victor Justin, which finally came out in paperback, which was on my wish list since it came out in hardback. And I think it's quite fitting to read a Heat Wife book during a Heat Wave, and it's also said at the end of August, so it's a perfect read now. And I love short books, so I'm pretty sure. I read that very soon. I might stop reading this one for a while and squeeze this in while it's still very summery. So this one I think I'm not totally sure but I think it's about a murder that occurs at a beach on a campsite and it's about Oscar who finds the body of somebody and it goes from there. don't really want to know more about that. I just I just totally fell for the cover and um, for the setting so that's all I needed to know 
And the other book that I got is The City of Mist by Carlos Ruiz Safon. And this one finally came out in paperback as well. And this is well, just another instalment in the Cemetery of Forgotten Books series, which I absolutely love and enjoy. And I actually still have not read the last book. So this autumn I want to read the previous book to this one and then this one which is also quite short and has very short chapters. If I only look half finished that's because we're going out to the restaurant very soon and I still need to get ready and I'm also quite sweaty because it's still a bit sweltering. So lots of new things happening at the moment but I'm also really excited to finally have a dedicated filming space and I've already played around a bit with finding the right angles and I have a lovely bookshelf there that is not completely finished yet but it's in its end stages and I'm super excited to film more videos in the future now that I have a dedicated space for filming and reading. Mm -hmm. 